Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best energy efficient vacuum cleaners. Starting at number 5. Mila Classic C1. Check out the Mila Classic C1 if you want a mid-range corded vacuum. The pure suction model is much cheaper than even entry-level variants of the Mila Complete C3 but still has the same 1200W suction motor, which has little trouble drawing up material embedded deep within crevices. That said, this version of the C1 doesn't have an electrosocket at the base of its hose, so it's incompatible with powered floor heads, and the standard STB 285 to 3 floor head doesn't provide enough surface agitation to draw out debris embedded deep within carpet fibers. If you have a lot of thick carpeting in your home and are considering a Mila C1, spend a bit more on a C1 variant with an electrosocket, like the C1 Cat and Dog. This vacuum lacks an onboard tool storage compartment and feels less well-built than the C3, though the build quality is still good overall. User maintenance is also remarkably simple and hygienic, with easily accessible filters and compatibility with self-sealing dirt bags. The compact size and trio of caster-mounted wheels make it easy to maneuver in tight spots. Coming at number 4. Mila Complete C3. If you don't mind exchanging the portability and convenience of a cordless model like the Dyson V15 Detect for more raw power, sturdier build quality, and not having to worry about keeping your vacuum's battery charged, put the Mila Complete C3 on your shopping list. The brilliant variant sits at the top of the C3 lineup, and unsurprisingly, it's loaded with convenience features. There are additional handle-mounted controls and an extra auto setting that allows the vacuum to automatically adjust suction power depending on the surface you're cleaning. There's also additional sound insulation for its already quiet motor. This flagship variant also comes with a lightweight parquet floor head, another straight suction floor head with retractable bristles, and Miele's top-of-the-line ACB 236 powerhead with five levels of height adjustment, which is great if your home has a wide variety of different carpet types. If you don't need as many attachments and can live without the handle-mounted controls, automatic power setting, and additional sound deadening, the C3 Kona variant delivers a similar user experience at a lower price. Alternatively, if you're looking for a different kind of canister vacuum, consider the Sibo Airbelt D4 Premium, which incurs lower ownership costs thanks to its higher capacity dirt bags, which won't need to be replaced as often, and longer lasting filters. It also has a longer operating range of nearly 50 feet, enabling you to clean faraway areas more easily than the Mila. However, its bulkier design and stiffer hose make it less maneuverable than the Mila. At number 3. Wise Cordless Vacuum. The Wise Cordless Vacuum is a good option to save money on a vacuum cleaner. Performance isn't anything special compared to pricier models, as its rotating brush roll can scatter around larger debris on hard floors and has a hard time with fine debris that's been worked deep into carpet fibers. The bundled straight suction upholstery tool isn't all that effective for dealing with hair on fabric furniture too, and you're better off purchasing the miniature turbo brush tool from Wise's website if you have a pet that sheds heavily and want to keep your couches and armchairs clean. That said, it's very well equipped for a cordless vacuum in this price range. It comes with an onboard HEPA filter that's pretty effective in sealing in allergens. Battery performance isn't bad for a cordless model in this price bracket. While its runtime is very limited in its high-power turbo mode, it can run for almost an hour in its most energy-efficient ECO setting. Unfortunately, compared to pricier models like the Samsung Jet 75, the Wise's build quality is somewhat cheap and flimsy feeling, with a body made mainly from thinner plastic. Its dirt compartment feels particularly fragile, and its floor head scratches rather easily. The rubber gasket that seals the dustbin door can also fall out when shaking out the dirt compartment if you aren't careful. Number 2 of my list Samsung Jet 75 The Samsung Jet 75 Plus is a great option if you want a mid-priced vacuum that can handle a variety of messes. Unlike the Dyson V15 Detect, it has no automatic power adjustment mode or an onboard dirt sensor. However, it offers similarly strong debris pickup performance on bare floors and carpeting at a considerably more affordable price than the Dyson. 
that's ultimately down to its powerful 200 AW suction motor, which is remarkably powerful for a cordless model at this price point. Unlike the Dyson, this vacuum is also fully compatible with a self-emptying base station, which sucks debris from the vacuum's dustbin into a disposable dirt bag inside. That said, this accessory is rather expensive, and buying it with the vacuum pushes it into a higher price bracket, similar to the more feature-packed Dyson. The pet variant of the Jet 75 comes with a miniature turbo brush for cleaning fabric surfaces, though it's worth noting this attachment is a little bulky and can miss really short strands of hair. If you're hung up on the Samsung vacuum's lack of an automatic power adjustment feature but aren't willing to spend that much more, the Shark Stratos cordless is worth a look. It's noticeably bulkier and heavier than the Samsung, though the Shark's folding wand makes cleaning under tables and chairs easier. And number 1. Dyson V15 Detect. The best vacuum cleaner we've tested is the Dyson V15 Detect, especially if you want something cordless. This high-end stick vacuum is remarkably potent, delivering debris pickup performance similar to many corded models. However, it has the advantage of being remarkably easy to deploy and maneuver. Its surface detection system enables it to automatically adjust its suction power setting depending on the surface that it's on, and it also features a dirt sensor to count and measure the size of particles sucked into the dustbin. However, it feels somewhat fragile, which is disappointing for a vacuum at this price point, and it has a relatively basic floor head with no height adjustment or brush roll-off switch, meaning it can get stuck on thicker carpeting pretty often. Consider the Samsung Bespoke Jet if you're looking for something sturdier. It has a uniquely designed stand-up charging rack that doubles as a self-emptying base station for its dustbin, making it easier and more hygienic to dispose of debris. However, its bulkier twin roller floor head makes it more difficult to maneuver than the Dyson, and this model lacks the V15's surface detection system. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.